<laughs> What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about the trade that took place. You have the Los Angeles Rams trading wide receiver Brandon Cooks to the Houston Texans for, I think, like a second round pick and like a future foot round pick or something like that. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Uh, come give me a file on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Uh, come holla at your boy, yo. <laughs> uh, let me get this straight, man. First off, for Brandon Cooks, man, to say that he is a, <clears throat> to say he's a good wide receiver, He's sure been around a lot, man. <laughs> like, to say he ain't been in the league that long and he's a good wide receiver, this is what, his fourth team? I think he went, the Saints drafted him. Then he went to the Patriots, the Rams, and now the Texans. Yeah, like, <clears throat> it's rare that you see good players, you know, at this early in their career move around so much, man. So that's kind of crazy when you think about that this guy done been traded three times already, you know. Um, but, but let me get this straight for Houston, yo. For Bill, not even Houston, Bill O'Brien specifically. You trade away DeAndre Hopkins. Apparently, he came out the other day and said, oh, we couldn't afford him. You know, like, oh, he wanted more money. Uh, and he had three years left on his deal. So, arguably, the best wide receiver in the whole league, you feel me? He was set to make $14 million this year, and he had three years left on his deal. So you give him, you give him away, basically. <clears throat> and you bring in Brandon Cooks, who, though he's a good wide receiver, we know he is nowhere near the same uh, stratosphere as DeAndre Hopkins when it comes to wide receivers. And he's going to be making 16, I think 16 point something million a year. And he has four years left on his deal. Now, the one positive I did see, he has a, um, a clause in his contract that I think Houston could release him after this season and not owe him anything. But nevertheless, man, like you, you're going to pay him. You're paying him more, you know, than you was paying DeAndre Hopkins, man. Then you go, though he's a good player, he's a speed deep threat guy. A guy that you basically already have on your team in Will Fuller. Though I know Will Fuller is injured a lot, you already have that guy in Will Fuller. Now, you got two guys that could run, but none of them are really like a, a red zone threat wide receiver. You got Kenny Stills, another guy that can run. And Randall Cobb, a short underneath type of receiver. Keep in mind, they don't have a first-round pick, so it's not like they could go get a guy like a C.D. Lamb or something like or a Denzel Mims or something like that. So you got Deshaun Watson with a bunch of short, fast receivers, <laughs> like nobody that's even a red zone threat. Not to mention, Houston don't have a great tight end anyway, and you're putting your faith in David Johnson, who the last couple of years have been injured and just not very productive. So where are, like, what is Houston's red zone threat, yo? Where is going to be Houston's red zone threat? What, Deshaun Watson running the football? I mean, Bill O'Brien is just, coaches need, owners need to stop letting these coaches be GMs also, man. Like, unless it's a guy like a Bill Belichick after he done won his third Super Bowl, then it's like, all right, maybe I could let you, you know what I'm saying, start being being the foreseer of who comes in, you know, I mean, get the coaches to give their opinions, but to let them make the final decisions, it makes no sense. First of all, Bill O'Brien, who's to say you're going to be around that long? <laughs> like, who's to say you're going to be around for the next three years or so? I think after this season, honestly, I don't think Houston is going to be very good this year. Um, I think they take a step back, and I think Bill O'Brien is going to lose his job this season. Um, like I said multiple times, if Houston never came back to beat the Buffalo Bills in that wild card game, I think Bill O'Brien would have been gone already. And Houston would have probably still, most likely still had DeAndre Hopkins. 
But now you have Brandon Cooks, Will Fuller, who is basically the same wide receiver. Both guys, you know, Cooks already has a concussion history. Will Fuller has a getting injured history. You know, goddamn, and then us, you know, another guy in Kenny Stills and another guy in Randall Cobb. But nothing, you have no tall red zone threat type of wide receiver. None whatsoever. You don't even have a red zone threat at tight end, which y'all going to have to put J.J. Watt back at tight end <laughs> like they did years ago, you know, to have a red zone threat. You're going to use Deshaun Watson's legs. Like, it, it's, it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense, yo. Like, the guy just doesn't know what he's doing. Like, all the hype around him came from him yelling at Tom Brady when he was with New England, when he was New England's offensive coordinator. And people was like, oh, bro, what a strong-minded coach to yell at the GOAT. No, maybe it's a, what a dummy to yell at a guy like Tom Brady, man. Uh, poor Houston, man. And as far as the Rams, yo, um, the Rams are just unloading all kind of money that they done spent, man. The Rams might be the first team in NFL football history to play a game with 18 players on the team, with 18 players on the field instead of 18 starters instead of 22, man. Because they got to give up. All their money is basically going to go to, what, five players? What, Jared Goff? Um, they're going to give a little bit to Robert Woods. Cooper Cup may eventually get a new deal. Um, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. Like, that's where all their money, well, Michael Brockers went back over there. So it's like, all of their money is going to go to just a few players, man. This team is going to have no depth whatsoever. So it's like, yeah, man, they're going to go out there and play with only a few players, yo. Um, but you had to let Cooks go, man. They, they trying to shed this money, you know. Golf got a new contract. But, um, yeah, man, so for the Rams, hey, I mean, <laughs> then they don't have a draft pick, a first-round pick for, I think, the next eight years or something like that, man. Uh, but yeah, the Rams, Rams are Rams are in a tough spot, man. They may, they may end up being last place in the NFC West this season, man. Uh, Arizona, obviously, with DeAndre Hopkins, should be a lot better. San Francisco was just in the Super Bowl, and you know Seattle has Russell Wilson, so with some couple of young pieces. So Rams may end up being the worst team in that. Go from being in the Super Bowl. A couple of years later, being last place in their own division, yo. But, you know, we're going to see. Uh, but Houston, I mean, a bunch of short, quick receivers with nobody that's a threat in the red zone. Bill O'Brien officially is, is getting himself fired after the season, man. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Uh, y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.